Hi friends today we are going to discuss illumination topic we all well aware that the singarani collar is released with the idea electrician force illumination is a one of the topic in that in this topic they are they will ask one direct questions there is very less time for preparation here i can discuss important points for this topic before going to start the topic subscribe my channel and share to your friends those who started the preparation for the exam let's go to the topic what is illumination generally here this illumination is a is a branch of electricity which tells about the system of lighting and system of lighting and various kinds of lighting is known as illumination <coughs> here in this you can get question like this what is illumination you can know that you know the system how the lighting and everything properties of good illumination in this properties of good illumination we can expect question like this what are the properties of good illumination they can give the options like a b c and d and all the above when the option is all the above you must should know that the all the properties of the good illumination so let's go on to the properties of good illumination this light should be efficient it should be free from glare it should free from shadow it should not have any effect on color system it should have proper reflecting equipment it should install proper place it should give uniform light it should reflect correct size of the object these are the properties of good illumination next the advantages of good illumination generally you can expect same type of question what are the advantages of good illumination so in that case you should know what are the advantages of illumination the advantages of good illuminations are it reduces the chances of the accident it minimizes the effect of strain on the eyes it increases the production in the workshop it helps the increasing the space decoration it minimizes the loss and wastage of the material it increases the efficiency these are the advantages of the illumination next you can what uh, types of light sources there are five types of light sources generally discuss in this topic where has in your syllabus the the system lighting source may be classified as direct lighting semi direct lighting semi indirect lighting indirect lighting and general lighting it is also called as diffused diffusal lighting general lighting is also called as diffusal lighting generally these direct lighting it is a simplest and most commonly used system of lighting it is simplest and most commonly used lighting 90% of total lighting falls directly on the surface you can see here 90% of the light totally falls directly on the surface it is commonly used in houses industries and shops etc a reflector you can see here a reflector a reflector is fixed on the top of the bulb so that the maximum light falls on the object next semi direct lighting in this semi direct lighting you can see here the system of lighting about 60 to 90% of lighting falls directly on the surface so it is called as semi direct lighting it is commonly used in offices hospitals and reception rooms etc a reflector with holes or grooves is fixed on the top of the bulb so the light falls towards every corner of, a, of this 
सरफेस नेक्स्ट सेमी इंडायरेक्ट लाइटिंग इट इज ए सिस्टम ऑफ लाइटिंग 60 परसेंट टू 90 परसेंट ऑफ टोटल लाइटिंग डज नॉट फॉल ऑन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज दे थ्रो अपवर्ड सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज सेमी इंडायरेक्ट लाइटिंग यू कैन सी हियर ऑफ ऑफ द लाइट इज शोन इन अपवर्ड साइड इट इज कॉमनली यूज इन ड्राॅइंग रूम्स सिनेमा हॉल्स ड्राॅइंग रूम्स सिनेमा हॉल्स ऑफिसेस एंड रेस्टोरेंट्स एक्सेट्रा द रिफ्लेक्टर ऑल्सो डिजाइन द मैक्सिमम लाइट्स एमिट्स अपवर्ड्स मैक्सिमम लाइट्स एमिट्स अपवर्ड्स नेक्स्ट इज इनडायरेक्ट लाइटिंग इन दिस सिस्टम द लाइट इन दिस सिस्टम द लाइट इज अबाउट टेन परसेंट ऑफ लाइट फॉल्स ऑन द सर्फेस एंड नाइंटी परसेंट reflects upwards here you can see the 90% of light is reflecting upwards so it is called as indirect lighting it is mostly used for decoration purpose in cinema halls uh, hotels dancing halls and clubs etc the reflector are fitted in such a way that the source of lighting is normally not visible which is not visible here you can see here the next is general lighting <coughs> general lighting is also called as diffused which i has told in the starting of the classification it is generally used in uh, offices which is high it is about 50% of light falls downwards and same amount of light uh, uh, upwards the most used in offices with a big height The reflectors are normally made of glass and it is global shape and they reflect uniform light in all direction. Thank you everyone. The next part you can discuss as the terms and definitions of the illumination